Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com doing another one-box break of 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Five autographs per box. Break number three. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Thank you. Remember, no nationals in this. We'll end up randomizing that later in a separate dice roll. But for the names and teams, I'm going to randomize each list three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Got Olivia down to Elena. Three and a two for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. Pirates down to Phillies. All right, so Olivia with the Pirates, Mark with the A's, Rory with the Brew Crew. Rory, you got your Brewers. Look at that. Tyrone with the Rockies, Ronald with the Royals, Rick T with the Twins and Braves, EA with the Cardinals, Brian, you got the Padres. Rick T with the Angels, Carlos, Mr. LT with the Astros, Cubs, and Dodgers. Nice. This is Mr. LT, Mariners and Orioles. Mariners is your last spot mojo. Eric with, your, uh, with the Rangers, TJ with the Giants. Mr. LT, Indians, Rich with the Marlins, Dino with the Red Sox, Rich with the Blue Jays, Jeff with the Tigers, EA with the Yankees, Greg, you got the White Sox, Rick Hunt with the Reds, DMAC with the Mets, Mr. LT, Rays, Rick Todd Hunter with the Diamondbacks, and Elena with the Phillies. Let's alphabetize by team. Feel free to trade if you'd like. We got the Giants up for trade, the Rockies up for trade, Giants, Rockies maybe? All right, and while people are considering trades, I'm going to keep rolling the dice until I get two, four, five, or six, which are the uh, the only boxes left thus far. Already did three. We're going to do four. This box right here. Right, so, oh, you want a red? You might as well go for the rainbow, Rory, with that Lutz. Tigers, Jays, maybe? A one off the dice roll, too, Rory. I don't think anyone's really responding to any trade offers. People are putting teams out there for trade. I like what Jeff's doing there. Pitching an offer, Tigers, Jays, but I don't know if Rich is around right now. I think we'll just have to go, folks. We'll close up that trade window. So that list right there remains the same. Let's print it out. Good luck, everybody. And at the very end of the break, there'll be another randomizer for the transcendent baseball spots. Good luck. Roy says, if you get the red Lutz, you'll bite you'll bite the bullet and do the rainbow. You kind of have to. We already got you the one of one. Now it's my obligation, my duty, to try to get you the, the red one. All right, good luck, folks. Let's open up all these packs first. All quiet on the baseball front. Not a lot of big deals being made, but a lot of big free agents still out there. See how all that ends up. I feel like uh, spring training is not too far away. Not too far away. So, JD Martinez, Arietta, you Darvish. A lot of big names that are still out there. 
Uh, SWAT, Brad, how often do we send cards out? Well, we ship, now that our team is back to full strength, we ship every day except for Sunday. Usually from a break, from break to, uh, I think the last couple weeks or so with, with some people out of town, it's been a little bit slower than usual. But usually we get stuff shipped out within a, a few business days or so at the latest. Like for example, those long contenders breaks, those take a little bit longer. Optic breaks, those take a little bit longer to sort out, pack up and ship out. <laughs> yeah, actually we, yeah, we don't ship them. That's the whole joke. We make you pick them up here in Redondo Beach. All right, good luck, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we, we end up keeping all of them. All right, good luck, folks. So paper doesn't ship, as you remember from the other breaks. Chrome will ship. I don't know, people in the chat, let us know, uh, let, let, uh, let SWAT know what, uh, how long it takes, where you live, what area of, of the world you live, and how long it usually takes from a break to uh, to uh, at your doorstep in your mailbox. Like during during like non-holiday season. Clark Schmidt, 221 out of 250 for the Yankees. That'll be for EA. And wow, nice Brendan McKay. Green Brendan McKay for the Rays. That's Mr. LT. That is a strong hit. Not only is it 74 out of 99, he's your fourth overall pick. And a legit two-way threat. This is a uh, first baseman pitcher right there. They guess to have him at both. It's a very nice card. It's all paper. You can kind of tell, like that's crawl, that's paper. So all this will ship. And the rest of this is just paper. Sometimes they'll squeeze a little paper in between some of the chrome cards. That's how you know they're they're numbered. 45 out of 250. Quentin Holmes. That goes to the try. That goes to the Indians. That'll be for Mr. LT. How much do I think a Honus Wagner bat autograph might go for? I have no idea. What does everyone else think? Tommy Doyle. Rockies. There you go, rocks, that'll be for Tyrone with an autograph. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I'm not really good at like that kind of old school memorabilia type thing. Uh, but TJ will gladly give you $7 for it. Gladly. Yeah, it's probably not worth much more than that. <laughs> Mark Glassman, Boombox saying about 35 bucks if you take to Rick over at Pawn Stars. And then they'll then they'll sell it for like then they'll sell it for like a zillion dollars. Has anyone been to that uh that shop? 
of all the times I've been to Vegas, I've, I've never made my way up. I think it's like on the north side of Vegas. But from what I understand that it's, uh, from what I understand is that it's not, um, the actual shop is much smaller. But then there's like, then there's like a larger place where there's a, there's a numbered paper right here, right here, Will Craig, 479, 499. But then there's like a larger venue they use just for show days. It's not worth it. There's Kevin Merrill. Oakland A's. That'll be for Mark Glassman. That's for Boombox. It's a tourist trap. I, I know it's a tourist trap. I just kind of want to see it, though. Rory's saying that it's about three to $5,000, maybe, for that. Honus Wagner. So NYK, all they have is t-shirts and bobbleheads. And then like 90% of the shop is their film studio area. Well, what do they end up doing with all that stuff? How are they making money? How is this working? How does this operate? Just off of show revenue? I don't think they make that I don't think their ratings are that high, are they? For them to just be sustained by advertising? Maybe they are, I don't know. Oh, that's true, Roy. I guess the, enti the entirety of Vegas is a tourist trap. But it's a tourist trap amongst tourist traps. There's Trevor Clifton for the Cubbies. 301 out of 499. That'll be for Mr. LT. Stuart Fairchild out of 200, 146 out of 200. That goes to the Reds. That'll be for Rick Hunt. Oh, Trevor Rogers. Hi, Trevor. Your 13th overall pick. For the Miami Marlins, Rich with that one. Rich Schmidt. Nice. 13th overall pick. I hear he sells pretty decent. I got some fuzz in there. Sells pretty decently on a secondary market. And with the way the Marlins are fire selling, you may see him sooner rather than later. Oh, I see. They just do a lot of online reselling. And they just contact people online. I see, I see. Yeah, I also wondered how they... Because, you know, like a lot of that stuff is scripted. I, I always wonder how they got people to come into the store with that wondrous, magical item. Like they all have to be in Vegas at the same time, no. What were these? Oh, I think I already went through these already. All right, last bit. We should have one, two, three, four. We should have one more autograph left. Paper. And what else do we have here? Gold paper, Joey Morgan. That card is gold. 20 out of 50. That goes to the Tigers, Jeff Goldenthal, with the gold. More gold, Trevor Rogers gold. That card is gold. 24 out of 50. Miami Marlins. Rich with that one. And autograph. Another Trevor Rogers, this time a refractor. This time out of 4.99. Nice Trevor Rogers for Rich. And a nice break everybody, there you have it. Some paper and some chrome to close things out. 
All right, now let's see. Let's see who's going to get transcendent baseball spots. So let's go get a blank list from random.org, some new dice. Let's get everyone's names. And the top three names, one, two, and three, will get a transcendent baseball spot on jazbeeshobbyland.com. And the uh, fourth person will get any Nationals cards that may have been in there. I wasn't really paying attention, but if there's any Nationals Chrome cards in there, uh, that'll go to that person, the fourth person down. Three and a seven on the randomizer. Good luck. Lucky seven times. One, two, three and a four, that is. Three and a four makes seven. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Then final time. The top three, EA. Carlos and Tyrone. Nice. Congrats. And Carlos, you'll get all those uh, Nationals cards, if any. So congrats to Eric, Carlos, and Tyrone for getting Transcendent Baseball spots. JaspiesHobbyland.com. That should break on Wednesday. Join us then. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.